Welcome, Louisa here from allaboutstamping.co.uk and today I've got a huge bag, huge big little clutch style bag, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, this one I put a handle on, I'm not sure I like the handle, so the next one I'm not going to put the handle on it, um, and I've used magnets to close mine, but if this is going to be near kids, make sure you, um, use velcro dots or something else um, and this uses uh, two sheets of 12 by 12 um, cardstock um, which is why I've called it the huge, well actually I think I'm calling it the huge designer's clutch bag um, which um, I'll leave a link for, there's a free um, SVG file um, you will need to sign up to my um, and if you sign up to my newsletter, as an added bonus, you get access to all my free files. So this is one of them. This is a 12 by 12. Um, and I put it on one of my Facebook groups because I wasn't sure about the strap. And then someone said, oh, do you have a PDF version? Like a printable version. And I do try to do a printable version because I know if people have got a brother scanning cut or they haven't got... You know, I don't want to exclude anybody. So I have done a PDF version. Um, and obviously, because you can't print on 12 by 12, well, that I know of, <laughs> or most people wouldn't be able to, um, I have scaled this down to fit on an, a, um, on an A4 piece of paper. Um, so, yeah, this, will, this is a PDF that you will um, get. So you'll get... Um, two, and the PDF file is the same. I'll show you the PDF file in a minute. So you'll get two of the base, two of the um, box bases. Obviously, that's the back with the flap, and this is the front one. And then you'll have two mats. Um, I haven't matted the back, um, but feel free to do two of those, and you can mat the back as well. So that was that's included as well. And I'm using some new, a new sweet today. So once you have um, downloaded the zip file um, with the um, designer style clutch bag SVG in it, you want to open Cricut Design Space. I'm on the one that you can download and it just sits on your desktop, um, the beta version. So I'm going to go to upload over here. Um, I'm going to upload image, I'm going to browse, and I'm going to go wherever you've saved it to. Um, and huge designer style clutch bag, SVG file, I'm going to open that one. It's all in here, and then I'm going to click save. And you can put a tag on here so you can put all about stamping. I don't know bag whatever you want so i'm going to save that um and then i'm going to click it again so it's got the little um green box around it then you know it's selected and you'll also find it down here as well um and if you don't want that one or you suddenly think oh i've selected the wrong one you can just click cross and it'll go um so you could add multiple things to it if you wanted to. So that's that one. So I'm going to go insert image. And there are a few things that you need to do. I need to ungroup it. So this is your matte layer here, by the way, the purple. Um, and this is your um, box template. Um, so I want to go over to where it says cut here, where it doesn't look like there is anything. Um, I want to select that one because that is um, these score lines here. But I need to set it to score, so I need to go up to line type up here and score. And I've got a load on there because I'm using the Cricut. If you're using Explore, I think you'll only have cut, draw and score. Um, and then I'll want to go to the other one over here. 
oh no the other one over there <laughs> which is that one <laughs> which is hang on let me move this out of the way so I'm onto this one now which is here um, and I want to set that to score oh nope wrong one sorry and I want to set that to score because if you don't set it to score you'll just have lots of bits and then what you'll need to do is collect your um collect or even click select even i'll get it out eventually you want to select your template and you want to attach because if i don't attach um cricket won't know where to put those score lines essentially so you'll just get a shape and then i cut out a score on a separate thing so select it and go down to the bottom here and go to attach and do the same thing let me just shift that out of the way uh, do the same thing with this one here you want to go attach okay and then then when I click make it see here where it's collected and it knows where to cut so I'm going to go to continue my cricket is on just waiting for the bluetooth to come and you will need a scoring tool um or the scoring wheel and <laughs> make sure you put the um the single wheel scoring wheel in and ask me how i know that <laughs> um and for our cardstock stamping up i find the medium cardstock straight out default cuts beautifully okay so um i've cut everything out of the um cricket and i'm using um a new suite that's coming out called christmas time um and this is the uh, dsp this is only a small portion of it um but if you join my newsletter i'll be sending more information out it's gold foil beautiful um go to cherry cobbler cardstock so that's what i've um, what I'm using here um, and all the layers are cut out so um, it's going to look gorgeous so um, yeah so I've got the um, front and the back the f back sorry the front is this piece here that I'm just about to score and burnish um, which is what you will um, want to do I used to make it so I got quite a good score um, if you're using the explore um, you'll have to do a little bit um, more of a fold you know you'll have to crease a bit there there I'm just saying don't worry about the um, diagonal score lines because you'll pinch them in when you've done that so that's all the scoring on that one um, and this is the back with the flap to the left hand side um, so again I'm just scoring and burnishing um, you don't need to go mad um, but I think Cherry Cobbler is really nice thick cardstock I don't think it's any different weight from our other ones but I think sometimes um, a die can make a difference so I just you will want to put uh, glue I've used tape on the tabs um, I've just used sticky tape because I think it's a bit stronger than wet glue um, and I'm just burnishing it down just to make sure it's burnished well um, and I'm lining it up in the grid paper um, and just taking off the backing I couldn't find my poker tool so I'm using nails um, so I'm, you want to take the back off um, I'm just going to fold over the sticky tape back on itself because it's a bit wider than the tab um, which is a good thing about sticky tape so I'm lining it up on the grid paper uh, just so I've got a bit of a line and I want to line up that the edge of the paper just shy of the score line um, and I apologize if my head gets in the way I was just trying to line it up really well so yeah make sure you don't go over the score line because um, it's kind of one deal job um, and then this bit's easy because obviously you've got it all attached. So you just take the backing off the other tape. 
easy peasy and again I'm just going to fold it over um, good thing about sticky tape and just line everything up and voila got it mostly done so um, for the tab um, for, the for the bottom you want to fold in the sides the back um, and then the front is where you want to put your adhesive put more tape on if you're going to put something heavy in it um, I'm just putting it on there for speed um, and then you want to line it up don't line up the sides um, because the sides aren't straight there's a taper on them so you want to line up the front bit as best you can get it square as you can um, and then here is where you pinch on in the score lines just with your fingers and fold the flap over um, and make sure that's really really secure um, I've put two magnets on mine but it did leave a little bit of a gap as you can see at the front but it didn't really bother me um, I think two um, magnets are better than one magnet just for strength um, and I haven't the reason I'm making this I would normally put the DSP on before I make it um, but as you'll see in a minute I wanted to hide all the magnets under the layer of DSP um, and I suppose I could have put it under and then lined up <laughs> um, and lined up the magnets from the base onto the flap but here I'm just sticking them down with some glue dots um, so I've put it on the underside of the flap first um, but if you find it easier to do it kind of the other way um, that's fine so here I'm just sticking it down and then I'm just being really careful making sure that the magnet's staying where it is um, yeah and then I'm putting some you want to put some snail on the back um, or wet glue I, can't, I like snail but use whatever glue you want and you feel comfortable with um, and then here I suddenly remembered that I left the <laughs> the backing on the magnets the magnets I've got I've got um, sticky on one side already um, and then I realised that I stuck my box don't, do, don't stick your box to the DSP so I'm lining up here there is a bit of a board around the outside um, so you want to line it up and you want to make sure your pattern is the right way um, and then I'm just squishing it down um, and then here I've decided that I wanted to put a bit of ribbon on it uh, this is another new ribbon from the new collection um, I just decided it wanted a bit of I don't know I think I got designer in my head and thought oh yeah that'd look really pretty um, so I'm just cut that off and then I'm just laying it on but don't do it too tight because you'll buckle the paper um, which is not a good thing and I like to just put a bit of adhesive over the top of that so it doesn't pop out and then you line that up on the front make sure your pattern's the right way it is already set up so it should be the right way um, and then I've decided that I wanted um, a bow on it but decorate this any way you want I mean that's a beautiful thing um, about this you can have it decorated any which way you want um, and it would look gorgeous <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna stick that on there um, and that is about it um, yeah so decorate it however you want um, and here sorry here I'm just cutting just a small circle um, these are just going on the um, magnets are exposed just so because it's quite powerful so it's just another layer but also it's just a bit decorative um, it looks a bit nicer so yeah that is it in a nutshell really I hope you have enjoyed that and you will um, give these a go I think I much prefer it without the handle and um, yeah I'd love to see them all um, so um join my facebook or if you hashtag all about stamping um that'd be great i'd love that i'd love to see people making these um so thank you very much and i will see you next time bye